Hello, Belinda Colling and Anna Stanley, and we have just witnessed round 11 action here in Porirua. The Central Pulse beating the Canterbury Tactics 51 48. In a match, it was pretty slow to start, wasn't it? But the Tactics keep coming back at the Pulse. They wouldn't go away, but the Pulse were able to hold on in the end. Yeah, a good fight, really, from the Tactics, given they haven't won a game this year, and, and to push um, a side like the Pulse. The Tactics strong in the middle, but the Pulse, I think, really showed their class in that last quarter. The experience of Jody Brown, Wells shone through. Grant, um, Katrina Grant, their captain, you know, was, was solid for most of the game. Um, but to get, you know, the tactics to get within a couple, they'll be really disappointed. Yeah, look, one player for the Pulse who really shone in the first quarter was Liana Leota. And it was the form that we've seen from her in previous years that's been a little bit missing really came to show tonight, didn't it? Yeah, dominant right from the start. And we talked about it in commentary. She she did what most wing attacks should do. She, she, she drove, she cut and passed. She got a lot of those front cuts. But it was her positioning on the circle edge which was really impressive. She fed Brown well. You can see here she's got such great footwork and speed off the mark. Um, and, you know, ably assisted by um, Shadrock in its centre. And I think just in general, the pulse attack was a lot sh a lot more smoother. They had their flow compared to last week. Yeah, they had a lot of space. And Amelia Ann Wells, Jodie Brown, that combination's growing from week to week. So it was good to see that whole attacking end for the pulse on fire. Well, the, down the other end, Zoe Walker, she was introduced to the game late, but she really made an impact when she came on, didn't she? Yeah, Sue Hawkins, she made a lot of changes. And certainly this one is the one that worked for Walker. I just think Moulds got stuck too far behind Wells and Brown in that first half when Walker came on. She just injected a bit more mongrel. She went for everything. She was contesting, you can see here, um, face planting on the ground. And her timing is really good. She comes away with the off arm and got quite a few deflections and, and just, you know, put doubt into Wells and uh, Brown uh, in that shooting end here. And if we look at the stats, I mean, pretty not much in it really when you look at the goal percentages. A couple more uh, for the tactics finishing on 84%. Probably the penalties far too high for the tactics, finishing on 75, and of course the turnovers, uh, a lot of those unforced errors for the tactics, 26 to 19. Well, plenty of action coming up. These last matches, there are some crucial ones coming up in the games ahead as all these teams challenge for those top three positions in, the in each of their respective con conferences. And you can watch all games live on Sky.